want to show you a few flavor stations, new ones, been around a little while, but the stand is new. We've had this tabletop flavor station. We build a six and an eight and a 10, and then we've added this feature right here. So let's say you had a place, you wanted to roll it out on the sidewalk every day. You could grab it, roll it out, set it up, fill it up, people run it, boom, boom, away you go. So let's go look at something else. I'm gonna show you today our, um, one of our new things. We're always coming up with new things, making it better, making it easier. Um, if there's anything new and neat for doing shaved ice, it'll probably come from us. Um, the round self-serve flavor station was an idea that we, I had done way before anybody else had done. The beauty of this one, which is what we're talking about, is if you're alone, this is a lot easier to set up. It's pretty hard to set up the one, but it, when you get it set up, boy, is it nice, because um, all you are is handing out cups of snow, and people are walking over and getting their own flavor, uh, taking their time, getting what they want. Um, they, you don't have to wait for them to decide. So we have this, <clears throat> and it we call this the Cube 9, and you could just buy this with this cart like that if you want. You're gonna see me use it on the band, but it's really not just um, limited to the band. It can be used um, like you could roll it out of your store and put it on the sidewalk. It has, has a, lot of, a lot of uses. But you can see it it's, um, has faucets on both sides and you'll just put your labels on here. And, um, and if you want, some people in hot, hot areas say that the syrups are so hot they melt the snow. So um, you could stick some panels in here and put some advertising on them and dump a bag of ice up here so it would chill your syrup. And one day we'll build a lid for this just, in, just so it's covered. Um, so anyway, you all understand that I think pretty much. So this, <clears throat> um, instead of me lifting out of a van by myself a great big fiberglass full of syrup round flavor station, which is impossible, it's a two-man job. I can, I can use this, I do it all by myself. So I just roll this up to the van, and actually, and we, we would unlock, this would have a bigger arm on it, so you could lock it and torque it down, but you take this off, and now you gotta be careful with it, because this thing is, it'll skate. Um, it's got some wheels underneath it, if you wanna see them. Those, those wheels make it so it um, scoots around easy, but. So, and if you have, if you like this and you said, oh, we like that, we wish we had one that was uh, 28 tall and this happens to be 32 tall or something, um, we would cut this and make it fit for you. Or we may make one that telescopes, so you can set it for this height for this truck and this height for that truck, but anyway. So the way this works is you go up to the end of your van and you uh, basically just give it a push and, and off it would go and you'd want to roll that in and strap it so you don't lose control of it. And then you'd take this and I'll tell you lifting this is a heck of a lot easier than lifting the, uh, this aluminum piece. Easier than lifting the heavy fiberglass parts, especially the one that's full of syrup. So we'd put that in and mount it, tie it on so it doesn't tear things up. We get to our vent, we'd pull this out, set that there, pull this out. And like I say, it doesn't have to be an event. It can be, you just, you just have this and uh, you roll it in and out of your kitchen every night. Who knows? All kinds of ideas and ways for making money with shaved ice. If it's hot and there's a lot of people and you're there, you're gonna make money, it's that simple. Shaved ice has a high profit, it's, gr it's great business, great, great business. So anyway, I would, if it was me, I would roll this over here. I'd basically put it in the traffic flow so that everywhere, all the people that are walking can't help but notice it. And they would see people filling up shaved ice with it and it would get their attention. They'd stop and they'd want one. And, um, 
can serve two people at once, which is a big deal. I've seen my shaver, my Snowy 3000, can shave so many shaved ices that people will stand in line waiting to put their syrup on. If you only have one line um, to the point, they start to melt. So um, this is the bottleneck, and this is the part this is the, that um, takes the longest time to get done. And so this is one way to really get it done. Also, as long as we're looking at the band, we, um, we ought to t take a look at this. <clears throat> this is this is our flavor station for the van. If you don't want to set that up, we have this. And this just comes like this, and this drops down. And this becomes the drip pan for it, like voila. Now, you put the labels here. These two could be blue raspberry, and so you'd have two lines coming into this. And if you'll give me a minute, I want to show you something else. Want to put it on hold? I'll be right back. This is, happens to be a tabletop, and then we have a freestanding one, but um, we're gonna ins have down in the near future, and I'm showing this because I patented it, and, and, uh, or else I would hide it, because half the other things I, I uh, brought out early got, people ran and patented them when they were my ideas, but what will happen here with this is we had a swing arm, one that swung a couple of these out here, and these would float, like we call them saucers, but um, we're going to actually do it where you reach up with a, a rod, um, pull out a bar, and then you'll grab a, um, instead of like bringing this out, you would bring this out of the van, if you can imagine, and and uh, and this is up here, and you, you this will be this will telescope out and dangle down, so it only have the weight of this, and then the, this will straddle this, but it's really like up here, and then you have a little drip catch and stuff around it. Um, it's a little early to show it, but um, it'll be it'll scoop back in. And there will be, maybe here, we haven't decided, probably have a couple of them installed or one that tees off, but the, they'll store in a box. So you'll open the box and you'll bring them out and put them on, pull the bar out that holds the weight, but um, that's, it's just, um, it's pretty cool. I mean, this is, uh, as far as this goes, you know, you, you get juice by pushing this lever. Um, except our new design. It's a little straighter up and down, this clear one. Um, you, you push that lever and it opens it up and outflows the syrup. And it's got 12 of these, so you would have 12 flavors. And up in the, up here in the, in the, I don't care if it's a food truck or if it's a snowy bus or a van, but as, as long as your syrups can be here and that can be here, then you can gravity feed to them. And one thing about gravity, it always works. You don't, you, we're not using pumps, none of that. We just, we're just uh, not even siphon. We're just gravity falling down. So um, that, that will be out one day. And it's just one more way. Just, just one more thing. We're always trying to come up with things, good ways, neat things to do to make doing shaved ice more profitable. And, and uh, actually, we think of things that we want for us because we, we, we want it simple and easy. And uh, as a result, usually it's something that is um, good for you and something that you would want. Because if it works for us, it'd work for you. So anyway, thanks for your time. and, and um, Thanks for checking out our new stuff. Catch you later. Thanks. See you. Bye.